Greetings. This is Minister Joshua Wright, a.k.a. The Gospel Jukebox, GJB, and welcome to Weekly Manor from Heaven. We are in week 67. Yes, it is the 67th episode of Weekly Manor from Heaven, and I'm just thinking and praising God for this amazing platform. I'm just thinking and praising God for everyone that tunes in, that watches and supports this ministry. Now, Weekly Manor from Heaven is a place and a platform where I just share the good news of Jesus Christ. I go into the Old Testament, I go into the New Testament, and, just, and I just interpret what the Holy Spirit gives me in the Word. Now, sometimes I have guests. Again, I'm thinking about having a guest on the 7th episode, number seven, 70. I think I'm going to have a guest there. I have somebody, again, like I said, I have somebody that, I'm talk, that I talked with that is willing to do it. So I may have him as a guest on the seventh episode. Um, but I sing. I talk about things that we as Christians go through because we go through a lot of things, especially being in the body of Christ. There's a lot of things that we we see on TV. There's a lot of things that we experience, and we and I and I like to share my insight or my input or what I go through as a Christian in this world that we live in, especially in the times that we're living in now. Um, I usually post Weekly Manor from Heaven every Sunday on my website at www.gjbinc83.com. Um, also, on YouTube, you type in gjbinc83, all one word. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like, Let people know about Get the word out. <clears throat> let people know that Weekly Manor from Heaven is here to encourage, here to give insight, here to bless, to uplift. That's what this platform is all about. Um, I, 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 find I have a passion for God's word. I, I love doing this. I thank God for this platform that I get to share the good news with you. So since I'm sharing the good news with you, uh, do the same. Share this platform. <clears throat> also, I have a merchandise store. Usually when you see the beginning of my videos, you see my logo and it disintegrates into a million pieces. Well, my logo, I have shirts, I have koozies, I have hoodies, I have baby onesies, all kind of different things that features my brand, my logo. So you can go to www.storefrontier.com slash gjbinc83. Also, my labor of love, my baby, my clothing line, a King's Heart Apparel. It has been totally revamped. It has I I have I'm I'm in a new location, a new store, a new look. There's new items that I've added. I've added uh, sliders, like you know, like the Nike slippers. Those the, that style of slipper you like to wear, the Nike slippers or Adidas. I have those type of slippers with my brand and my colors and my fabrics and my designs. So please go and support a bra. You will go to akheart.myshopify.com. Again, it's not King Customs anymore. I'm still, that's my manufacturer, but I had to move to another store. So I'm with My Shopify. So again, 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 that's akheart.myshopify.com. And you can also Google me. I'm on Google. Now, when you Google me, you might see the King Custom website. Don't go to that one. Because that's for my personal use. I go to that website to do my designs and different things like that. But my Kin Custom Store has been closed down. It's closed. So I'm on my, I'm on Shopify now. So when you Google me, look for the uh, AK Heart My Shopify uh, thing. The search, the search name. Um, also on my uh, official website, djbinc83.com. I have all my social media uh, platforms listed there. I also upgraded that page as well. So you're going to see it's kind of revamped and kind of changed a little bit too. Um, you can find, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I know a lot of people are not on Twitter anymore, but I still have a Twitter account because I, I, I try to make sure that I'm in, I'm, I'm represented on all social media uh, arenas. So you just click on those icons at the bottom of my uh, official page and it will send you directly to all my social media accounts. And if you want quick and fast access to my YouTube channel, if you're browsing through my website and you want to go on the YouTube and look at my all my Weekly Manor videos, click on that. 
easy access. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He making me to lie down in green pastures. He leading me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leading me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I dwell in the heavenly house of the Lord forever. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all sins and evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever and ever. Amen. Dear gracious and heavenly Father, first of all, God, we just thank you, God, for being God all by yourself, Father. Father, we thank you for your darling son, Jesus Christ, who hung, bled, and died on Calvary's cross, that we may have a right to the tree of life. And Father, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, God, for your son's sacrifice, that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Father, give me clean hands and a pure heart, renewing me a right spirit, Father. Take my heart and mold it, take my mind, transform it, take my will and conform it to your ways, oh God. If there's anything that's not of you in me right now, God, I ask you to gut it up, burn it up, remove it, uproot it out of my soul, out of my spirit right now, Father. Father, I ask you to increase the spirit and decrease this flesh, Father. Because there's times, Father, that this flesh gets weak, Father. But Father, your spirit... Your Holy Spirit that dwells in me, Father, let it continue to manifest and be ruler over my life, Father, that I do everything by the Spirit. Because you say, Father, try this, do everything by the Spirit. We've got to try the Spirit by the Spirit. Do everything by the Spirit. Father, I ask you just to touch each and every person that watches Weekly Manor from Heaven, Father. Whatever they stand in a need of, Father, I ask you to meet the need of thy people right now, Father. We're all standing in the need of a blessing right now, Father. So, Father, I ask you to go meet, touch, and agree with each and every person, Father, that that submits to you, that calls your name, that worship, that praises and honor you for them. Father, we're in 2022, Father. And Father, I believe that it is a time right now for us to be about your business, Father. It is a, it is a season for us to do everything that you have predestined for us to do. That's why I say, Father, I am going to work on the album this year. I'm going to work on this, continue working on this book. Everything that you have for me, Father, I'm going to, I'm going to go for it. Everything, I'm not going to let no one or nothing hinder or stop me from doing what you called me to do in the earth. Father, I just ask you to have your way on the message today, Father, because it's a much needed topic, a much needed message. Father, I pray that each and every person that watches is blessed, healed, delivered, set free, whatever they need from weekly manner from heaven. Father, you meet the need, just like you gave back in the, in, in the book of Exodus. And you talk about, uh, you sent manna down from heaven. I, I talked about that in the very first episode about, Father, how you sent manna down from heaven to, to feed your people while they were in the wilderness, Father. So, Father, that's why I call it weekly manna. It's something for us to feed upon, something for us to digest, something for us to uh, nourish us throughout our work, week, or throughout our day, and different things like that. So, Father, I pray that I be the voice, Father, that when I speak, that you move through me, Father, that it's not my will, Father. But let thy will be done in me, Father. Father, in these many blessings, I accept upon your darling son, Jesus' name. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be something in thy sight. And we say, Amen. Amen. Okay. So, today's word for Weekly Manor from Heaven is coming from the book of Ezekiel. Chapter 36. Verses 26 and 27. Again, that's Ezekiel. Chapter 36. Verses 26 and 27. And it reads as follows. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit in you and move you to follow my decrees. And be careful to keep my laws. So kind of using for a subject or a thought, Lord, turn people's hearts of stone into a heart of yours. So basically what I'm talking about is, um, God, give us a heart and mind and spirit like you. Now, the reason why I wanted to do this, I, I read that particular scripture. Um, if you've been following in the news, 
there's this guy, he's waiting for a transplant. I, I believe it's a heart transplant or something along those lines. And he's been on the waiting list and they found a heart for him or they found a, a donor. Wonderful. <clears throat> but here's the catch. Now, you know, when we're, we're in the midst of a pandemic and COVID-19 is running rampant. So people have been getting the uh, the jab and different things like that and stuff like that to <clears throat> to keep themselves safe and things of that nature. Well, this particular person chose not to get the jab, and since this person, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> chose not to get the jab, um, the hospital uh, feel like he will be liable or he's not a good candidate or not a good fit to get the transplant <clears throat> because they feel like the transplant would be better used on somebody that has a better chance of living no <clears throat> now I'm just giving my perspective or my opinion of what I view the situation this man has been on the waiting list for we don't know how long maybe for months maybe for years now there's a chance now that he can finally get the organ that he needs but since he didn't get the jab his life is not meaningful that means since he didn't get the jab he um he's not a good candidate or a good fit no, that's not of God. I'm sorry, that's not of God. This this man, life depends on this organ, this organ donor, this transplant. And y'all don't want to do it because he made the conscious decision that he didn't need the jab. Now, I'm not discouraging anybody. You do what you have to do for you and your family. I'm not discouraging anybody to do anything. Like the, like the Bible said, as for in, in the book of Joshua, as for me and my household, we choose to serve the Lord. So what you do for your household, you, what you do for you is for you. So I'm not discouraging anybody to uh, to go do anything that they need to go do. You do what is right in your heart and your spirit. But that's why I read that text. Lord, I just ask you to touch those people's hearts. Pull on their heartstrings, turn that stone in heart, and, let the, and, and, and reconsider the, the decision. That's my opinion. But I just feel like we're in a season now, we're in a time where people need to have a, a heart of God, a heart of Christ, and you really need to move in the spirit. So that's why I talked in the text about Lord, uh, invoke your spirit in us, uh, change our, our heart. A stony heart like yours. Give us, give us a heart like yours. Give us your spirit. We need, we need the Lord's spirit. We need His heart. We need all those things to be compassionate. Like, where's the compassion? Where's the love? Now you're gonna, now you're gonna let this person die because they didn't want to get the jab. Cause, and I kept saying this. I said, why aren't people like in the church or ministers and different things like that? Why are we not talking about? The healing properties of God. The Lord said, "By your, by my stripes, I'm what I'm healed." So, I believe that the Lord can deliver us and heal us from many different things. And I also believe in uh, holistic uh, healing and, and holistic medicinal medicine and and and, and immunity, natural immunity, and, and 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 things of all that nature. Because. I'm I'm firmly standing on this word. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of what? Power, love, and a sound mind. That speaks volumes. So as believers, as Christians, we don't have to worry about anything. All we God said, all we have to do is what? Fight the good fight of faith. He said, Your faith. All you gotta do is maintain and uphold your faith. The Lord said he'll fight all our battles. That's why I said the victory is already won. So you can kind of think of, I kind of think of COVID as a battle. 
the Lord is fighting it on my behalf. So I don't have to stress. I don't have to worry. But like I said, you do what you do for you and your family. But as for me, I believe God is a healer, a deliverer. He's a keeper. And I just feel like we are, again, like I said, we're in a time now where people need to come back to God. People need to have a heart like God. That we always, you always hear that cl cliche or phrase, what would Jesus do? Like, think about it. what would Jesus do in this situation? Jesus wouldn't let that man die. This man has been wait. I'm, I'm just using this person as an example. This person has been waiting and waiting. And now it's his time to get his organ. And you're going to deny him because... Mm -mm. No, no. So I, that's why my prayer is that, God, you touch the hearts of people. That they can be loving and compassionate. And Lord, endow them with your spirit. Because I tell, you, I tell people this all the time. And I, I say this to myself. I don't know where I would be if I didn't have God in my life. If I didn't have God change my heart and, ch and, and to make to be more loving and be more compassionate, because especially in a time like this, uh, what's going on in the world right now, we need God's love. We need God's spirit. So I en I encourage you to be more compassionate, more loving, especially in these times. Like check up on your brothers and sisters. Um, have a heart care love love hard love with the love of god and things of that nature so i, I didn't want to be with you too long i pray that y'all encourage by today's word a weekly manner from heaven until next time god bless